God told him. You know, every morning God is calling and it's a question, are we listening? Sometimes some of us are, sometimes some of us aren't. That's why coffee always helps. It's a lot easier to listen when you're drinking a cup of coffee. <laughs> An obstacle race. Rise above your fears and fancies into my joy. It will suffice to heal all your sores and wounds. Forget all sense of failure and shortcomings. All the painful jolts and jars. And trust me. Love me. Call upon me. Your discipleship is an obstacle race. So run that you may obtain. Obtain not only your heart's desires, but obtain me your soul's joy and haven. What would you think of the runner who threw himself on the ground in despondency at the first hurdle? Over and on and up. I am your leader and your goal. You know, if it was a walk, it'd be easy. If it was a talk, all of us could do it. <laughs> but the thing that Paul shared with us is that it's a race. It's challenging. It's one that requires preparation. It takes time. It takes effort on our part. We don't always recognize that some will not finish the course and may not end the race. But like a marathon, everyone that seeks the Lord and walks with Him and talks with Him and is prepared by Him will reach the finish line. Bathing in the sunshine relaxes, refreshes, sometimes gives you a sunburn, but... <laughs> can restore missing elements in your body, vitamins that you need for life. Bathing in the Word does the same thing. It restores your soul. Sitting with God daily, that will give you the strength for the day, the will to press on, the coffee you need in the morning, and the chance for you to not just talk the talk and quote scriptures, not just walk the walk and <laughs> do all those wonderful works for God, either in church, out of church, in the community, in service, as a public servant, but for your soul and your God, He will meet with you because God is calling you today.